Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to define the different types of the soil based on the saturation level. So, if we consider the phase diagram of the soil, so let's consider this is the phase diagram of the soil in which we have three main components. One is the solid, one is the water content in the soil, and one is the air content in the soil. So if we consider it represent it represent it by volumes, it is the volume of the air, it is the volume of the water, and it is the volume of the solids. And this is let's consider the total volume of the soil. So this is the general phase diagram of the soil where we have three main components: solid, water, and air. So now upon this phase diagram of the soil, we can define the different uh, types of the soil on the saturation level. So for example, considering the first one is fully saturated soil, fully saturated soil. So fully saturated soil means that we have only water content in this soil sample. For example, this is a soil, this is a phase diagram of the soil. So we have always a solid and here we only have water component. There is no air present in this type of the soil. So such type of soil is known as the fully saturated soil. If this is the volume of the water and this is the volume of the solid, so the volume of the air is equal to zero in this case. Because it is a fully saturated soil which has only solid and water. Now the second one is the partially saturated soil. Partially saturated soil. Now, what is mean by partially saturated soil? It means that such type of the soil has three components. It has solid content, it has water content, and it has air content. So it has both the air, it is both the air content, volume of the air, and also it is the volume of the water. So we have both the components here, the air and water in this type of the soil, such type of soil is known as the partially saturated soil. The third type of the soil is known as the dry soil. Now, in dry soil, we have two components again. One is solid and here is air. So, it is the volume of the air and it is the volume of the solids. And there is no water present in this type of the solids. So, water content is equal to zero or the volume of water is zero in dry soil. So depending on the saturation level, we have three different soils. One is fully saturated soil in which we have only water and solids. Then the partially saturated soil in which we have three components of the soil, air, water and solid. Then the last one is dry soil which means that it is dry so it is no water content inside the soil. So the phase diagram looks like it is only air and it is only solid. There is no water present in such type of the soil. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.